So we just picked up this uh, Steel Max Arc Runner and we got it for this particular job we're working on. We got a bunch of steel plates that are all AR400. We have to run basically stringers of hard face on a lot of big plates. So we picked up the robot for this job and we're gonna add it to our arsenal of tools. Um, never ran a robot before and I've never ran hard face out of a wire before. So it's kind of a couple of new ones for us and we're gonna go for it um, and do a little quick review and show you guys what we end up coming up with and hopefully it helps you guys out. So uh, we're gonna continue setting up the robot and get some plates ready to roll. Okay, so the next step is we built kind of a beginning of a makeshift table here for this process and we'll put a tabletop on it later. But for now, it's gonna do the job. So what we did is we set up two of these plates next to each other. This plate in back is really just gonna be uh, what our robot's gonna drive on and give it a space to drive back and forth. And we'll put a backstop on this side of it that the robot arms can reach to and run on the back side of this whole deal. So the front two plates here on this side, we'll just start swapping these through as we cut um, so now the main reason for the robot is we have to do a knife edge on this, a 35 degree uh, angle cut on this. So we're going to set up torch on the, on the robot, torch cut the front edge. And then after it's torch cut, that we'll use that as our preheat and we'll start hard facing. We're going to do a four inch grid system of hard face on the front of this. So that's the purpose for the robot. It can just run back and forth doing the long lines, doing the torch cut. And then we'll just fill it in by hand with the, with the sh short little four inch stingers. So that's the plan and we're gonna get after it. So finished product, done. So we bevel cut our 35 degree of the oxyacetylene torch and laid down five stinger passes with the with the robot. Um, this again is the Steel Max Arc Runner and this thing absolutely killed it. You know, the, the cut quality with the oxyacetylene was beyond what I expected actually. It, it was just beautiful. And then the weld quality that we were able to get on these stingers, I think it's fantastic, it was fast, efficient. I was able to dial the machine in, wire feed speed and all that stuff to make a really nice weld pass, like way better than you know I would be able to consistently do, and obviously way straighter because it's a it's a robot. So really impressed with all that. And then we laid down the little hand stingers by hand. And um, yeah, I think it's a fantastic project and really excited with the results. And this machine did fantastic. So looking forward to putting this thing to work some more and um, getting out there. So thanks for watching guys, uh, appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. And uh, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, let us know. And if you guys need robot services, we're gonna help you out. <laughs>